For those who are not aware, O.J. Simpson recently passed away from cancer, and I thought it'd be appropriate for us to revisit that time when the late great stand-up comedian Norm Macdonald gave his thoughts on O.J. Simpson getting cancer and giving some encouragement to the family members, as well as O.J. Simpson himself, which almost caused Norm Macdonald to get canceled because cancel culture is out of control, even back then. So let's go ahead and reminisce of the late, great comedian Norm Macdonald on O.J. Simpson getting cancer. Here it is. Uh, I don't know. I'll tell you something about O.J. Yeah. And how on Twitter you can get in tr not in trouble because who the fuck cares what these retards say. But uh, I'm saying on Twitter, I said yesterday, I put a post up. I said, uh, uh, you know, my heart goes out to O.J., and his family uh, for his uh, health issues, mm -hmm. and God bless. And people got very angry at me, you know? And, and they're like, fuck OJ, you know? And like, there, there's another virtue that's gone, Tommy, pity. Whatever happened to pity? Yeah. Do we well, have to hate everybody? Uh, people, probably your fans especially, were maybe surprised to hear it coming from you, considering some of the things you used to say about OJ on Weekend Update. Well, yeah, I, because I was against OJ for committing double murder. Yeah. <laughs> One of the great lines in the history. <laughs> but I am not against OJ for getting brain cancer. Yeah, no. <laughs> Right? No, it's perfectly... No, I, I feel uh, sorry for the man. Yeah. My God. And that's true, he does have brain cancer. Is that true? Or I saw that on the cover of the I don't know. Inquirer, then I but... heard that, that he may have made it up. Yeah. That... But, but uh, you know, of course, if a man has brain cancer and uh, he's going to die in prison, how could you feel anything but, but pity for him? That was one of the great lines in the history of Saturday Night Live, your line, when after O.J. was found uh, innocent. Murder is now legal in the state of no, California. Yes, that's right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What, now, what was, there was quite a bit of a backlash to the, that at the time, was there? Or, you know? I got fired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it makes me wonder if Norm MacDonald had his cancer at the time when he said this in this video clip with Tom Green. And that's why Norm was so sympathetic. From what I remember, uh, Norm definitely did have cancer then because he knew he had it for like a decade. It's exactly what he says in his book. I know he tried to keep it a secret, which he did for the Main part, and then Norm sadly passed away. Norm McDonald saying he got fired from SNL was pretty funny and hilarious. That's why he's one of the goats. And you gotta love Norm McDonald hitting that vape like a fine cigar. And personally, I don't see a conflict in hating a man for his actions, but also having feeling for his fate. Because we will all die one day, without exception. But I think people look at the hypocrisy. Would Norm feel bad if Adolf Hitler had gotten cancer? Or did he feel pity for Jeffrey Epstein? Because where is the line drawn? Or should there even be a line? That's a question everybody should ask to themselves, though. Alright, look, O.J. Simpson may have deserved some pity if he felt some remorse and behaved accordingly. However, OJ was a dick to the bitter end. Yeah, it's the worst part of hypocrisy. But then again, if I think about it, the worst part was the stabbing of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldberg, of course. And if you're able to make sense of it all, again, a person's actions are what is hated. If you're capable of slowing down your anger and confusion, you will be able to embrace some truth and possibly tap into some sympathy. Our actions not what define a person, though, because how we live our days is how we are. The more I live life, the better Norm MacDonald gets. Because right now, Norm and OJ are at a heaven and hell mixer, and we all know Norm MacDonald went up on stage right about now and roasted the juice out of OJ. And why OJ Simpson outlived Norm MacDonald is beyond me. F OJ, RIP Norm. Oh, and F Cancer. Norm MacDonald had a wonderful, humanity to him. I mean, God damn it, I miss Norm Macdonald. And I just got to make this point. My one and only thought throughout this whole interview video clip here was, my God, this dude over here looks a lot like Tom Green. Wait, holy shit, that is Tom Green. And then the excitement went away. I was just wishing Tom Green would do a barrel roll already. Norm Macdonald looking like a total chad in that video clip. What is this, enhanced in any way? The dude looking like a stud. 
I'm sure his body was enhanced by the lack of chemo and steroids coursing through his body that unfortunately would come later on. And Norm saying, yeah, because I was against OJ for committing double murder. Y'all have to admit, no one delivered lines like Norm. And to be truthful, I don't think I disagreed with a single bit of this segment. Because, I mean, personally, I agreed with Norm. Hell, I've seen cancer work its way through a person. And I don't wish that on anyone, even my wife worst enemies. Well, then again, I mean, I'd wish it on someone that killed my daughter and was walking free. But regardless, I don't wish it on him. But I certainly don't feel pity for him getting it. Talking about OJ, of course. The juice lived a much longer, freer life than he deserved. You can want someone to be punished with crime and separated from society and not be a danger anymore. But it doesn't mean that you think it's poggers that they suffer. Punishment? Yes. Suffering? Pain? Nah. Again, I'm not asking for someone to suffer or be in pain, but I don't feel pity when a murderer gets cancer in his 70s. But I understand Norm's position. And to some extent, I agree. All I can say right now is I miss that man, Norm MacDonald. The greatest man to come out of Ottawa, Canada. He's a legend. And again, Jesus, I barely recognize Tom Green. Yes, it's Tom Green, okay? Norm MacDonald was one of the few very famous conservatives in terms of values at least, if not politically, that showcase sincere empathy over the past decade. And for those who don't know, Norm died after a six-year battle with cancer. And like I mentioned before, it was a fairly private ordeal that the public didn't know about until after he died. I miss Norm. Anyhow, let me know what y'all think of the comment section down below because that's what truly matters, even though we don't matter. But hey guys, do me a huge favor and go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button on your way out. I would truly appreciate that. Very, very grateful. Every, everybody's watching. Thank you. Also, don't forget to push the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. But I'll see all of you in the next video. Thanks. Have a good one. Like the Bal Bal Balenciaga one. Jesus Christ.